Right, would you like to invite uh, Andre to work with us now? OK, I'm just going to spend a few minutes trying to link in. Visually, I'm showing a lot of water. I don't know if it's a sea or a river, but there's a lot of beautiful blue water that's almost engulfing me at the moment. When you start to link in with spirit, for somebody who hasn't experienced it, it's quite a difficult thing to try and describe. But images start to appear. Now, they, they don't appear visually in front of your eyes. Um, it's more very strong, pertinent mental images within yourself. It feels like a sun, but it, it's, it's not a sun. I, I'm, I'm very Just sure it's... Just go along uh, with what you're things. feeling and say what you're feeling and stop thinking about it. Stop analysing it and stop worrying if it's right or wrong. Say it. The teacher thinks that Andre may have made a good contact with the drowned son of one of the other students, and she doesn't want Irene's inexperience to damage the link. Sorry, I think I think you've broken it. No, no <laughs> you've got a good link here. Yeah. All right, go for it. Just don't worry about right. Or, all right, go for it. Say what you feel. You've got a relationship with somebody young there. That's right. You've got the word son there. <laughs> That's right. All right, now go from there. Sorry. Don't worry about whose son it is. Go from there. OK. Um, the young, I'm, I'm getting a link with the, with, the, with the young man here. She's talking about a young man. Very, very active. Someone who was um, very, very uh, busy. Um, some people like sport, some people don't. But I would say that this person definitely likes sport. They definitely like being active. You can accept that. Can that that's great. That. Thank you. Every medium is clairsentient. Every medium feels, feels the presence. But some mediums have a better clairvoyant faculty. They see the spirit people. Others, like myself, mainly hear the communication. Uh, and there is a combination of all three, plus this occasional a, a perfume and aroma. You might smell a pipe tobacco, a cigarette, things like that are sort of ancillary. In the evening, for those who still have the stamina, the college lays on a service in its own spiritualist church. As part of the service, Glyn Edwards will be working with a psychic artist to try and facilitate contact between the spirit world and members of the congregation. Now, <clears throat> I kept on hearing the name of Hill. Did somebody react to the name of Hill? Yes. You do? It's my daughter's married name. All right. And you've known people with the surname of Cooper. That's correct. But they've gone on. And this was a couple that you knew, but they knew your family. They knew your mother. They knew your father. Yes, sir. That's right. And if I'm right, the lady Cooper, the one that was called Mrs. Cooper, she was quite a bonny built woman, wasn't she? Yes. Jovial sort of character here. When you see a medium working with a psychic artist, the artist makes the contact and the medium links in with the artist. And that's the same way as a teaching medium links in with their students. Would you recognise a likeness of this lady? Yes. OK. This lady would have had her hair very short, but it was just a little bit longer before she passed to spirit. Yes. And who would Alice have been? Uh, because she's coming in as well and wishes to be remembered to you. And she's also saying to me here that there was a rather unusual post box in the village. Yes. A very unusual post box. And it wasn't painted red. No, that right here. And that she wanted me to talk about where it was green and wood. Yes. All right? Yes. So will you accept that with all the love in the world? Yes, no, Bless you. Thank you. All right? busy day to say the least with um, all what's been going on. It all gets a bit much sometimes and the tears nearly flow but then that's the emotions and the emotional side of it. Um, it's Wednesday tomorrow and Wednesday they call it Weepy Wednesday because it's the middle of the week and people start do start getting quite emotional. So Wednesday you might see, see a few people crying. I enjoyed my lecture this morning. I got fairly positive feedback there. Obviously, there is yet another day of assessment tomorrow. I've got to go out there and I've got to prove myself.
but I do feel that it is a challenge worth taking up. For Andre, it's the final day of assessment, but he's not had a good night. Reluctantly, he now faces giving a lecture on the crystal ball. To compound his problems, a lacklustre Andre has once again drawn Gene Bassett as his assessor. Today I'm going to be talking about scrying. Now, I don't know if any of you are here are familiar with the meaning of the word scrying. Like to speak to the back of the church, uh, but basically, scrying is the ability to perceive spirit through using tools. Today, the crystal ball is probably the most well-known of the scrying tools as such. People have always used various forms of media to try and improve the quality of vision and communication they were able to achieve. Andre, slow down a little bit, please. All right, you're not just giving a talk here, you're actually imparting information. They have no knowledge of what you're going to say until you've said it. Yeah. So if you don't give them a little bit of a chance to absorb what you've just said, they're not going to be able to take on board what you're going to say next. Okay. You don't have to rush it. I, it's just, I know it's ten minutes, so I'm thinking, gosh, four could probably be already. You worry already, about so. me, not the clock. Okay. Right, <laughs> go for it. Thank you. So going back to the main point, I remember doing a reading for a client. I kept seeing a big ear and a telephone. And I was thinking, well, what on earth does that mean? I told the lady that I believed that there was going to be a lady around her, very, very close, who would be having some kind of severe problem when it came to her ears. The next day, she was, had to be taken into hospital and she had a severe ear problem. So that's just one example of how the crystal ball can give us symbolic images. Now stand up, let's look at what you think. While Andre struggles on, Barbara is in full spiritual swing, taking centre stage in a demonstration of her own mediumship, and she seems to have made a contact. About five foot one or two and dark haired. Very, very excited. To very excited. To want to come in. Yeah, you know? all right, well, talk um, to her. Talk to her in your thoughts and your feelings. I actually had a name. All right, then, give her a name. Um, which is... You know, hit or miss, I suppose. No, but, no, no, don't, don't start got, saying that now. I had the name Rita. The name of Rita. Now, does anyone know somebody by the name of Rita? You do again. <laughs> right, now, let's, let's, let's try and establish if the person she's got is Rita. Now, One of the main difficulties we encounter working with students is this idea of, is it my thoughts or is it the spirit world? And that is difficult to work with because no one can really teach you how to do that. It's something that you have to learn to know for yourself. Say to her, tell me about yourself so I can pass the information on. You trust what you get. Someone you in the family is a gold digger. Oh. Somebody in the family that is a gold digger. Now, would you know of that? Me, I can take that. Uh-huh, right, so there we are. Now, tell her, say to her, we need something more about this. I thought that they were looking to see where some money was spent, like remittance slips. Some remittance slips or bills or what? Something, something like, like that. that okay. Checking out money. And now, feel, keep to, feeling To see where it. some money went. It's like, ah, where did the money now go? Then, something to do with where the money went. Right. Now then, we're getting a little bit more here. Why is she saying about where the money... Who was wanting to know where the money went? It's got to be the gold digger. It really needs sorting out in the family. I know what she's about the gold digger. I, I don't, you're on the right track, but... Uh, it's still not right. It, it, it is, but it's just not the right... Wait a minute. <laughs> Who could this all be to do with? Just feel into that. Trust her to tell you. Oh, Who was it connected with? Her husband. That's I right there. Oh, oh, it's her husband. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's where it was. Yeah. And it was to do with, uh, with, with something official, which was actually to do with an insurance document. The papers. All right. Let's stop there. Okay. Round of applause. It's like um, all the thoughts are coming in, because it's all thought, really. This is the way you're taught here. And you just feel like you're taken over in some way, but you're not. It's like Barbara, get out of the way, because the spirit wants to speak. You have to put your own self out of the picture. Andre's talk has not gone as well as he'd hoped. Mm. What you had to say was interesting. Mm. Uh, there are certain things about scrying and the crystal ball that I hadn't even thought about. So you've got some really nice ideas there. Mm. But you've got to learn to present them. I'm completely utterly knackered. I've been doing an hour talk today. I really didn't want to do this. 
and I'm kind of, you know, totally exhausted, to be honest with you. And well, that's, take the criticism you know, as it is intended. I, I, I know, yeah, I know Andrew. you're coming from the right place, do you know, I don't doubt that. And it, your voice simply isn't projecting properly. I don't know if anyone saw my talk in the world, you know, I was absolutely fine, so my presentation yeah. skills were there. It's simply that, uh, you know... They weren't working today. They weren't working today, and, and I, as I said, you know, yeah. I'm totally, utterly drained. I knew it shouldn't be happening, but unfortunately I've been pushing to the okay. corner, so there it is. Right. Would you like to come and work, darling? Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I created my garden in a wood. And the wooden bench invited me for a little rest. And slowly, slowly, I fell into a die dream. And a big, big, lovely frog family were sitting there and singing in a beautiful frog concert. The atmosphere itself tends to affect people emotionally and um, it's, it becomes a joke. We say a uh, weepy Wednesday, yeah. at least sometime during the week you have a cry. When you come here from the outside world, which is so different, so fast, so busy and you come here and it's still and you can get in touch with yourself and that often means emotion because we do suppress our emotions we, we tend to push them out of the way because they're powerful and, and sometimes they can be a threat to us our own emotions okay Barbara you're going to hear my voice and my voice alone you're going to ignore any noise that you hear in this room and outside I'm going to ask you to visualize a nice staircase. Barbara has made so much progress on her course that she's being allowed to try trance mediumship. You are very, very one, two, feeling more and more. Relaxed. Here, a medium attempts to enter a trance through which she will bodily take on the personality of a departed spirit. Feeling more and more relaxed. Going deeper and nine and ten. Completely relaxed. <laughs> My legs are going quite cold. felt to me like my whole body changed, my face, features. Yeah, I felt it. It's like my lips were changing everything, but because it wasn't, it's just a feeling, but you're, you're touching onto that emotion. But it's like um, you're feeling that spirit. I want to come, But it's hard to say what I want to say. Is the mind of your medium making things difficult for you? Yes. The mind's not gone. She's still not very conscious. You're hearing my voice. And I want you now There's always that special occasion, and for me, it was the, the um, trance mediumship. Very Going into trance. Never done it before. I, I didn't even realise I could do it. Come back to us now, Barbara. OK, darling. Okay. Well, it's your mind as well, to be able to go down into the altar state. It's training. Mm. Discipline. A lot of people think they can just sit and go into trance just like that. It doesn't work. It doesn't happen that way. It's been lovely, it's been brilliant. I've loved every minute. Sometimes it got a bit exhausted, but uh, it was lovely to meet old friends and make new ones. Have you enjoyed your week? For Andre, it's the moment of truth, his final assessment. It's a place I've always wanted to visit and I'm pleased I've had the opportunity to do that. You actually did a group work session on numerology, which I witnessed and assessed. And although your information and your knowledge on the subject was very, very good, I would say that your presentation could be greatly improved, both by a handout that you could have 
prepared beforehand and also by the flip chart itself being prepared. I wasn't provided with any equipment whatsoever. I wasn't informed that such a value would be made available to me. Um, I did very much want to do a handout in all the universities and all the colleges where I've taught and lectured on subjects. It's something I've always done. Unfortunately, no facilities were provided, so I wasn't able to do that. Yes, well, mm. I do appreciate uh, the difficulties that you, you were faced with, and I feel that there's a richness in your teaching that you can expand to people, and I'd like to see that expanded in years to come. Now, um, first of all, I have to say to you, yes, there is potential there. Oh, thank you. I have to go along with what Nora says here on your presentation. You see, you're hearing what you're saying, but they've actually got to listen, absorb, confirm, and then listen to the next sentence. I think that's a good point. I think my mind works very, very quickly anyway. I've got a very right. sharp mind, and I will take on things very quickly, and of course, yes. I suppose it's being conscious that other people yeah. in the class may need more time to mm. absorb the information. That Certainly, you do need training yeah, and certainly that. you do need to uh, start um, looking at things a little less defensively. It's, it's, it's very good to say uh, wrong, wrong, yeah. wrong, 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 but then at the same time yeah. not look at the circumstances, yeah. the situation which, which I was put in. It, it, you see, you what you're understand. not listening to is our positive comments. Yes. Uh, what you're listening to is anything that negative comes up. You're listening to that. You're not actually listening to the positive comments. Well, I think um, she also I'm not said listening it, so. enough at the moment, Andre. <laughs> Andre does not honestly have any idea of his okay. own quality, of his own professionalism, or his own capabilities. <laughs> he needs a friend. She comes in on a high horse, tells me how bloody awful I was, and then uh, she expects me to sit and say, well, yeah, you're absolutely right, I'm not going to do it. She said, you use no resources. Where's the resources? You, you, you had no word processing leaflets. Where's the word processor? What am I supposed to do? Do bloody miracles? <laughs> Andre was not offered a post lecturing at the college. I dedicate my heart for the peace of the world. May the healing and the peace <coughs> unite together as brothers and sisters. May we illuminate the world. Bless every one of you with every colour of the rainbow. Barbara has booked in for three more courses and is now considering applying to lecture at the college. I'd like to give you all my love and affection. Every man returns to BBC One later in the year.